today we're going to glaze our tea bowls and then we're going to put them back in the kiln to fire again. So when you add glaze onto a piece of bisque fired pottery, this has been bisque fired and this has been glazed but not fired. Um, it looks very dull and doesn't often look like the color that you have chosen. So Sean was nice enough to make these test tiles and I have all different colors, but this is the black glaze and you can see it doesn't look black, but once you fired it, it looks shiny, it looks black. Some of them, uh, I think he only put one coat on each one, but you can see that they're very thin colors and it's almost like watercolor. But if you layer up more than one um, coat, it will be darker. So like we're here, we're dripped. That is more of what it would look like if I did two or three coats of this color here. All right. So I would limit yourself to two to three glaze colors. They're not like paints where if you mix them, they get different uh, colors. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to mix the colors. So you want to keep uh, your brush clean and you don't want to necessarily have them mix on to the piece itself. So on the inside, I'm going to make mine this turquoise color. So I've checked the test tile to see what it looks like and I've got my uh, glaze here in a little cup and I'm going to just start brushing it in and it dries really quickly because the clay is so porous, which means it's just kind of like soaking it up like a sponge. Even though it's not soft like a sponge, it does do that. Um, so I'm on coat one here. And you can see this part that I started at the beginning is already dry. So I'm going to go in and make that second coat. And these cracks here, I'm not too worried about because the glaze will fill that in. And you'll probably be able to see them through that. And that's just kind of because we let it dry really fast. But it's also just part of doing ceramics. So now I'm going to rinse my brush out and wipe on the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch colors. Now I'm not going to paint on the sides, or the underneath part. Not on the foot, not on the part where I've made my name. All right, now, so I wanna make sure all the water is out of that because I don't really want watered down glaze. Because then I'll end up not having that full color. I'm just going to start by just putting it on here. I'm going to leave this part blank and brush around. So I want to have that green on the outside and the blue on the inside so that it almost match my tea when I have it served. And once it's dry, you can just leave it aside to uh, be put in the kiln.